It's a long weekend in New Zealand and the tropics are looking at producing a couple more tropical cyclones next week. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. So New Zealand's weather this long weekend is looking pretty settled. A lot of high pressure in charge and that's the reason why. When you go further to the north, we've got what was Cyclone Lucas coming down into the Tasman and falling apart. This high pressure belt so strong it's keeping that system well away from us. So as we go through the weekend, the slightly colder cooler southerly flow, not cold, slightly cooler flow coming in along the eastern side, uh, dropping temperatures clearly and producing a few showers, nothing much though uh, in that accumulation. So as we get into the forecast, Saturday's looking pretty settled around New Zealand, high pressure in control, that cooler southeast is still blowing through with one or two light showers. The accumulations are very low. Further to the north, this is the area of concern forming around Fiji where we think the next cyclone will be. The remnants of Lucas sitting here falling apart, a new tropical cyclone forming up in the Gulf of Carpentaria and further around Perth bracing itself for a storm as that tro uh, drops down out of the tropics as well. So by Sunday, New Zealand still settled, maybe one or two isolated showers up around the Bay of Islands and Waitangi itself, but again, a dry day really. When you go over to Australia, the remnants of Lucas near Brisbane, but far enough offshore to not affect your weather. There's that possible cyclone and Perth getting hit by um, an offshore storm and that low around Fiji starts to deepen a little bit further. Monday in New Zealand is a public holiday for Waitangi weekend. We've got these subtropical, well actually these are tropical winds, subtropical here and then drifting down over New Zealand. So the humidity is going to go up. You'll feel it on Sunday, but you'll certainly feel it on Monday as it creeps further into the country. Uh, the rain clouds lining up out at sea. Now that's the leftovers of Lucas there feeding down into it. So the remnants are likely to sort of get their way here, but whether it's going to do much for us. There's the cyclone forming near Fiji. There's the other one moving into Australia. And there's the X storm moving away or X cyclone moving out of Perth. So a lot going on, but again, Northern New Zealand dry and settled under high pressure. By Tuesday, very humid over New Zealand, especially the North Island and Central New Zealand. Humidity coming down, showers, maybe a few drizzle patches in the morning, and a lot more cloud coming through for these northern areas. Some of the remnants of Lucas lining up out at sea there as well. And our final map, uh, for, oh no, not quite, we've got two more, sorry. Wednesday's map shows this storm getting quite close to New Zealand as the remnants of Cyclone Lucas produce just a few showers. If you look at our Rural Weather website, take a look at the hourly, uh, or daily, sorry, uh, rainfall totals for next week. Not that great, but some of you might get a good lingering downpour and that could double your rainfall um, expectations. Our final map is for next Thursday. Now this one might change still, but it does show this cyclone or X cyclone very close to New Zealand, close enough to produce dangerous rips and, and waves all along the eastern coastline right down to about Christchurch. So this is worth keeping an eye on because Look at the weather in New Zealand, not much going on, even with these two lows on either side. So the weather might be sunny, hot, humid, perfect for the beach, and a cyclone offshore making things very dangerous, even if you can't see them. But we'll talk more about that next week because this modeling might move it further away from us, then it's less of a problem. Um, but obviously those who want the rain, they're wanting it to go the other way. Uh, so we do have a bit of low pressure though forming around later next week. As we said in our Climate Watch video, the middle of February does show better chances of low pressure. That's all from me. Have a great long weekend. We'll see you again on Tuesday.